What is up, everybody? It's Clint from the Die Hard MMA Podcast. It's the post weigh-in show. It's that time. It's Friday. Best day of the week, and the post weigh-in show is undefeated. <laughs> Click the link below. Check it out. Give me a retweet and a share, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe button while you're down there. You have a good one. Main event time, Leon Edwards taking on Bilal Muhammad. Edwards came in at 170 and a half, and this guy's just in amazing shape. He's He's got an unreal body type, just Beautiful genetics for this man. Congratulations, Leon. He looked confident, gave a big flex on the scale. Bilal Muhammad came in, great shape as well, 170 flat. He did the motion for the belt around his waist there. And when they faced off, Leon is huge, folks. We knew Leon was going to have a size advantage, but this is drastic. Like, he was much much bigger than Bilal when they faced off. Now, to Bilal's credit, he didn't flinch. He's got that little dog syndrome thing. He was intense, and he tried to get up in Leon's face, but to be completely honest, Leon completely dismissed him. It was one of the coldest things I've ever seen. One of these fighters is trying to get fired up. One of these tri fighters is trying to push the issue, let his opponent know he's not going to budge, and he just got waved off. Leon didn't give him the time of day, and it wasn't a cocky son of a bitch type of situation. I think Leon truly just believes that Bilal is not on his level, and that speaks to me. I am trying to find a way to bet Leon Edwards here. He's minus 275 at this point, and I've always said this whole week, I've talked about it, I think the size is going to be the difference. I think the strength of Edwards is going to be too much for Bilal to handle. And we've got a five-round main event fight. That's where Leon really shines. That gas tank really comes into play. And you just can't overpower this guy for that long. So if Bilal is in this thing, it's going to be early. I think Leon Edwards takes it. And I'm very, very tempted to actually take a sprinkle on Leon Edwards round three, four, and five. Because his striking is very underrated. It's come a long way. This is a quick turnaround for Bilal. And Dana White has promised Leon Edwards that if he impresses, he gets that next title shot. That's something that Leon has been hunting his entire life. If he goes out there and decides I'm finishing Bilal Muhammad so that I finally get my crack at the belt, I think that's on the table. Now, unfortunately, I think the bookies understand that's on the table as well because, surprisingly, Leon Edwards by knockout is only plus 300. I expected it to be in the round plus 500 maybe. Plus, plus 450, something like that. So plus 300 is a little bit short. Um, Leon Edwards by decision at even money kind of makes some sense because Bilal is a very, very tough guy to finish, but he has been knocked out before. Um, I'm liking Leon Edwards a lot here, and I'm trying to figure out if I want to parlay him with somebody maybe on the next event or if there's a spot that I like on this card that I might want to parlay him with. Um, maybe even just bodying up and laying the big chalk on the favorite that absolutely deserves that spot, and I might be taking a sprinkle on that KO prop.